135 million years ago. Dinosaurs were smarter than we thought. If mankind survives, the species will cause our extinction and completely destroy the planet Earth in less than 200 million years! What the heck's a mankind? I think I saw one down in the Black Forest by the X-Zone. Me too. And I observed he was met by another one down there this morning. There's two now? <gasps> oh my goodness, you know what that means! Two what? What's a mankind? <laughs> It seems unbelievable that one species could inflict so much damage to an entire planet simply by being stupid. But look at this. The facts speak for themselves. I'm afraid there's only one solution. We'll have to completely eradicate this species now before it has a chance to multiply. We'll have to call in an exterminator. The best we have. No, Dr. Steggy. We must use the worst we have. <laughs> Three six seven eight nine 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 zero oh, one. Daisy Cutter, front and center. Eight 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 nine 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 one. Bo Diddley Squat, and eight nine zero oh, seven eight six three five six. Doc Tare, the three most vile, twisted, and horrible dinosaurs ever hatched. Hey, yeah, look An eternity rotting in the solitary confinement sulfur pits of the Jurassic Penitentiary are too lenient a sentence for you three. And yet there may be gainful employment for dinosaurs with your unique, shall we say, qualifications? A little job that might save life on Earth as we know it. Yeah, so what's in it for us? If you succeed, your life sentences will be commuted. Pray tell, General, who is the intended target? Who cares? Destroy them all! Let the archaeologists sort them out! Huh? Listen carefully, you reprehensible reptile. You three are going up against a pair of creatures whose own stupidity makes them the most twisted, lethal, crafty, and deadly opponents you've ever faced! Terrible and slippery beings who hold the fate of our entire future in their weak and fleshy, five-fingered hands. This creature is called Man. Bug-like creatures, it's a walk in the park, squat. Great. I like parks. For a second, I was afraid we'd have to head off into this jungle. We'll have these humans bagged and mounted by sundown. All right, fellas, lock and load. Paleolithic killer bees. Those pathetic bipeds won't stand a chance against these carnivorous insects. Thunder! Let's move. On. Let's get hunting! <laughs> I was just walking across the tundra, minding my own business, eating bugs and grass. Thought I might meet one of those cave girls I heard so much about. They're supposed to be squishy and smell good, I heard. Then I met this guy, and he won't go away! Why? Why did this happen? Hey, Bill! Food's on the way! 
I'm serious. You'll see. We're gonna be best friends. You'll see. I'll feed you, okay? Watch, okay? Uh-oh. Look at those pathetic little excuses for a subspecies. My recommendation is we eradicate these two pests with a simple BB grenade. Let me blast him, Cutter. Come on, let me do it. Let me, let me! Oh, please, Cutter. Let the Steny scratch his itchy little trigger finger. Anything to stop his whining. All right, Squad, they're all yours. Okay, I got it! See? Here it is, a gift, okay? Here! My mistake, okay? Okay, my mistake. <laughs> Adios, humans. Huh? I mean, it was incredible. Their technology must be far more advanced than us. Pull yourself together, squad. It was a lucky shot. Lucky shot, my Talon. You don't get it, do you, Connor? Get what, Doc? Squat's right. These humans are more crafty and dangerous than we were told. Why else would they send us? Because we're expendable, that's why. Huh? If we disappear, taken out by these creatures, no one would miss us. I'd miss us. <laughs> That's right, Squat. We're all we have. We can't let these little weenies beat us. It's us or them. Let's move out. Let's roll. Let's, roll. Yeah. Let's kick uh, some tail. What is that? Hmm. Okay, this is where I can help. I've seen this before. It's called fire. I think I know what it's for, okay? I made this, okay? It's gonna make our lives easier, okay? Okay, give me your clothes. Come on, this is amazing! Trust me, okay? It'll be great! Watch! I invented this. I call it a washing machine. I figured it out. The fire washes things, okay? Watch. All right, team, let's rock. On three. Okay, they're clean. Just watch, see? Uh. Huh? Ah! Ah! Two, three. Thunder yeah! Thunder. Ah! 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 Yeah! <laughs> well, okay, we can outrun these planes. Yes, Kata, but can we outrun the animals? Animals? Yes, Kata, the ones behind us, mad with fear. Stampeding out of the jungle. We're okay, we're okay. Maybe not. You know, Bill, for a couple of the first humans on a hostile planet ruled by dinosaurs, I think we've done all right. We're a great team, right? Don't you think? Let's put it this way, Scooter. At least things can't get any worse. I was wrong. Cool! Bug! I suggest we fall back and regroup. There's always tomorrow. Yeah, I guess we we're lucky this time. Uh, at least two of us got out with our brains still intact. Don't make me go back in there, please. They're too much. We can't beat them. Boy, this is the life, huh? This is great, right? Can you believe this? We locked out. You and me, pal, forever. Woo! You and me, buddy. The first, the best. When does the hurting stop? Please, just make it stop. Eek! Mr. Mailman! Package, 
Uh, uh, Farik the cat, sign here, please. Sign, sign! Not much time. Kumbaya, package! Sure, I'll sign. I wonder what it is. Please, now! Sign now, here. Oops, I'm awfully sorry. Clumsy me. I'm just Butterpaws today. <laughs> Well, I'll be. This pen is totally dried up. But don't worry. I'll bet there's another one around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, here. Just forget it. <laughs> How exciting. I wonder what that nice pulse worker brought me. Kumbaya, it's here, it's here! My official Squishy Bear Steam Powered Turbo 10 Speed Pogo Stick! It's a magnificent machine, and certainly worth the 3,000 million Squishy Bar candy wrappers I got it for. Here goes nothing! Ugh. Kumbaya, what a ride! Gee, Sharky, kinda looks like I kinda maybe wrecked your doghouse a little. <laughs> Here, I can help pay to rebuild it. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> oh, there you are, Sharky! I was worried! <laughs> Alright, Hank. That's our stray animal quota for the day. Let's get him to the pound, Jib. The pound? <laughs> Don't worry, Sharky. This is just a little case of mistaken identity. They think we're strays. It's just a mix-up. I mean, you have your dog license, right? Great! See, and I've got mine. As long as we have these, we're gonna be just fine. <laughs> Gee, Sharky, I guess saying I'm sorry isn't gonna get us our wallets back, but, uh... Oh, oh gosh, it hurts! Jib, that's a problem with these strays. They're just vicious. He wants to know if you can get double so he can get a copy for his mom. Huh? The dog and cat holding block is crowded at the moment. You'll have to wait here. Well, that's very nice of you, I... Oh. Oof. Pardon me, Mr. Nice Guard, but you see, there's been some kind of mistake, you see? I don't need your life story, bub. I just need you to break the rocks. Well, sure, it never hurts to help. Come on, Sharky, we can help this man with his rocks until this little mix-up has been straightened out. Ooh, there's a good one. Oops. I guess saying I'm sorry isn't gonna give you the feeling back in your brain, Sharky. But I'm so... Ah! Ah! Hello. Just one more garbage can, baby. I'll just knock over one more garbage can and then I'm out, you said. Well, now look at you. You had to grab that ice cream cone from that little girl, huh? What? I don't pay you enough? What? Oh, Rascal, I told you you'd end up back here if you kept chasing cars. Yeah, yeah, just my luck that the last one was a police car. Boy, those babies can break. So you see, Annabelle, until we can find our licenses, we can't prove we're not strays. We dropped them in the street. You gotta find them for us, so we're gonna end up doing some hard time. Oh, Eek, I love you no matter how long you were left to rot in this terrible pound. No matter how many years I've stolen from you, or what kinds of terrible things befall you in here. If it takes to your old and gray, I will wait for you always. Or at least until I find someone else. Well, gee, uh, that's nice of you, Annabelle, but see, we were kind of hoping we wouldn't have to stay here forever. We were wondering if you could go look for our licenses. Oh, I wouldn't worry about those licenses, Eek. I made you a special cake that should have you out of here in no time. That's very nice of you, Annabelle, but it's kind of hard to keep a cake in your wallet. We really need our licenses. <laughs> That's right, Sharky. I made it with that secret recipe you sent me. With the file inside. All right. 
right, eat the cat. Your mall Annabelle left this for you. You know, she's really quite, uh, quite, uh... I like her. Beauty. Goddess. Fat. Really? Oh, yeah. Your pictures came back, Shark Dog. <laughs> oh, boy. Now we can get the file out of the cake and file our way through the bars and get out of here. I can feel it. I feel the file. Just about got it. Oh, Sharky, I'm running out of ideas. Here you are, Mr. Mortimer of the Mole. Why, thank you. I was really in the mood for some cake. It looks like we're stuck here in this cell with nothing but this soft, loose ground for a floor where those mean old guards store all their mining equipment. Stuck here for all time with the world's greatest escape artist, Mortimer the Mole, with freedom only a foot away. Just past this cement wall, and like tunnel vision, all I can think about is the outside. But I can't dig up a single idea. I can't unearth a single idea. It's just... Say! Wait a minute, Sharky! Over there! The mining equipment! Mortimer the Mole! Escape artist! The loose soft earth floor! Tunnel vision! Check up! Sharky, I have a plan! Guard! Guard! All right, you unlicensed feline felon! What is it this time? Uh, that lady over there tripped over Shark Dog and, uh, accidentally ate too much cake, uh, when she fell and, um, got a really bad stomachache! My head, my head! Uh, stomachache in her head, I mean! So can the three of us go to a hospital far away that we can take a cab to? We'll come right back. That's not a lady. That's Mortimer the Mole. Give me a break. Well, what do you know? It is Mortimer. My fault. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Guard. Lady fell. Yeah, what do these threes take me for? Sorry, fellas. I don't know how, but that clever guard saw right through our plan. Hey there, little pal. Buck up. Things will get better. We just gotta stick together. Maybe a happy song will cheer you up. Uh-oh. I don't suppose saying I'm sorry will give you back the use of your legs, but... Hey! A way out! Escape! Escape! We broke through! Oh! Over the top, boys! Hey! Nobody lives forever! Okay, turkey! Easy! Bo boy! This might be a good time for me to go underground. <laughs> Love and a good home. And freedom is a wonderful thing that I'll never take for granted again. Ah! 